Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel D and Art. So today we are back at making flowers. So this time I'm making a uh, iris, and actually I made this uh, quite some time now, but couldn't find the time to upload it since more projects were coming ahead. So let's start. What I did here is I drew the iris beforehand. You can see it underneath the mold for my reference. And now I am using a low viscosity resin here and to this reason I am adding around 30 drops of white alcohol ink. And I will be adding this white pigment paste uh, mixed resin into the piping bag. Before doing so, I am using alcohol inks by Let's Resin, and I am using blue and purple and a hint of yellow. So now with my scissors I am cutting a tip of the piping bag and I didn't wait here at all just the time in mixing the pigments and adding it to the piping bags that's it and following the flower that I drew underneath I will be making the petals. Just doing some little bit of corrections, that's it. And this is after some time, around an hour. Now it's next day and now I am demolding it. So let's see how it turned out and here we go so this was a bit of a complicated flower and i was thinking on how to make it the petals sometimes drops sometimes you get the top view of the flower so there was a mixed feeling about it but uh, as more as i was seeing this flower i begin to love it but i think so what i did wrong here is when i use this gilding glue that I really like to add to my every project but sometimes I should, should avoid these things but you do tell me in comments that you think it was the right choice or not but what I'm doing here is I am using this gilding glue I just wanted to enhance the petals more by doing this so I am using it in some places and I will let it dry after using it so that it becomes sticky and when it becomes sticky i use a ghoul foil uh, sorry in this case i used a blue one and i rubbed the blue foil onto this yeah it's been sticky now and so this one is the mirror foil that i will be using
and now it's time to top coat so i will be top coating it So this is the final look of the iris and please let me know in comments if you like it. I think I like it and I might try again with some different colors and let's see how it turn out. For now, this is how I made it and also please do like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider do so because I do share different videos and I do a lot of experimentation. So this was for now. Take care. Bye-bye.